Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video in Ubuntu Basics about FB Reader, the world's best EPUB reader, and it is available both on Ubuntu and also the Android phone, and later on I understand it's going to be available for Windows and also a Macintosh, perhaps even the iPad. It is better than the ebook reader that is for Nook, Barnes & Noble, and it is better than Amazon's Kindle. I've got a book here that is from the Project Gutenberg. It's in the public domain from 1906, Max und Moritz. It's in German by Wilhelm Busch. And I picked this one because there are a lot of pictures in it. This here is the table of contents and if you would go cursor on each one of any one of those it would go directly to that chapter. This is a couple of cutesy wootsy juvenile delinquents and it's a sort of a moral pre-comic book cartoon uh, and every single German alive has more or less memorized this book. And it's sprinkled through with pictures and you can vary the size of the text or pick up the uh, different kinds of fonts and uh, when you turn it sideways it of course goes sideways like that and on a tablet that works very very well on the Android phone it goes portrait to uh, landscape uh, instantaneously on the Android phone there is another feature you can pick any word in German I picked I picked a foreign language thing on purpose and when you tap on it it will give you the definition in English. You can do this in Spanish and of course in English also. On the Android phone you can also enable speech and it will speak to you at any speed with a very very good uh, pronunciation. This is such an iconic comic we, we don't know about it too much in the United States, but they certainly do in Germany, as I say. However, in the United States, it got copied in large news, uh, newspapers in big cities. There used to be Sunday comics, and there was a guy who more or less lifted Max und Moritz, and he wrote a comic strip called the Katzenjammer Kids. And in German, it's pronounced Katzenjammer. And that's the noise that cats make at night when they bother you. You can just hear parents telling their kids, hey, be quiet in there. It sounds like Katzenjammer. And the guy worked for King Features Syndicate, and he decided to quit his job and go off on his own and continue writing the comic strip. He drew it and wrote it. And he just changed the title to The Captain and the Kids. And for many years, the newspapers carried both of them side by side. Well, King Feature Syndicate sued him and it went all the way to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court made an iconic ruling. They said, from now on out, if you work for a company and you develop something there in-house, it belongs to the company, not you, the inventor. However, they were benevolent and they told this guy, well, since we didn't have a law in place about this, we're going to let you, for the remainder of your own life, continue drawing and writing the captain and the kids. Well, when I was a little boy and I read this, uh, it scared the holy crap out of me. Uh, they go to see a teacher and they put gunpowder in his pipe. And of course when he ignites the pipe, it blows him to smithereens and I, I remember this vividly. I imagine there's a whole bunch of Germans who were in therapy after having seen this since 1906. Uh, it is no surprise to me that FB Reader comes out of Russia. There's, there's something going on with that. This is the best reader. And during uh, the Soviet Union, there used to be underground newspapers, and I think it was called some is done. They used to take manual typewriters and put 10 sheets of paper in and nine carbon papers in and they would hammer out underground newspapers and pass them around so that 
they could get the truth out. The newspaper, the official newspaper, one was called Pravda, which means truth, was anything but truthful. And George Orwell pointed out in his book 1984 that totalitarian regimes play fast and loose with nomenclature and have a reversal of, of meanings. Uh, for example, the party in Russia, the Bolsheviks, that means the majority, and the minority, the Mensheviks, they were actually the majority and the Bolsheviks were the minority. And well, the same thing goes on uh, all over the world and you have to guard against it. Even here in the United States, the internet is under attack. They want to tax it, regulate it, censor it, and the radio stations are under assault now. Uh, they want to put out uh, a set of laws called the, quote, fairness doctrine, which again is mislabeled. Uh, there's nothing fair about it. They want to limit the opposition viewpoint politically and control it, squash it entirely. Uh, so when I see something like this come out of the Soviet Union, I think it is very, very poignant that such a wonderful program could come out of all of that, if it indeed did. I may be reading into it much more than really is there. I mean, I've never talked to the guys that, that do this. Uh, they have a website and you can ask questions and such, and they continuously improve uh, FB Reader. Well, I am now going to uh, uh, close this, and I am going to open up VLC, my webcam, and I've got VLC trained on my uh, Android phone. However, I got to tell you, it's going to mess up the sound. So from here on out, this is going to be a silent movie. I'm going to demonstrate portrait versus landscape. I'm going to demonstrate when you touch on a word, it gives the definition. I'm going to demonstrate you can zoom in on a picture. You can't do this on the Ubuntu version. And I'm going to try to demonstrate speech. So here goes. Uh, first things first, we've got to open up the webcam. 